The college admissions process can be stressful, but this year, issues with federal student aid has made things even more complicated. This is impacting upstate students, families, and schools. Peyton Furtado at Converse University with more. Is college in the budget? It's a question a lot of families have to ask. And with this year's FAFSA problems? That's one of my biggest concerns with the FAFSA rollout is that first generation and low income families may have already given up on the process. The Department of Education redid the free application for federal student aid this year. And while the application is less complicated, the rollout was bumpy. While most families can start applying for financial aid in October, this year it didn't open until January, and students faced glitchy websites, long waits, and lost progress. And then as applications began to roll in, we, there were errors that were identified in the calculation with student assets, um, lots of errors with missing signatures because students would start the process, get to the signature page, and the application would end. Fast forward to now, we're nearly a week away from when students typically commit to a college. And right now, some financial aid offices are more than six months behind. We have, you know, a little less than a thousand FAFSAs that have been submitted, but only 500 and some, well, 600 now have been posted successfully. 400 of them won't even load. Putting some students in bad positions. Well, you just kind of got to find a way to pay for your tuition now and then hopefully get something later on. Many area universities having to push back the deadline for students to commit. Financial aid officers telling us they hope this year is a one-time event. In Spartanburg, I'm Peyton Furtado for WYFF News 4.